Mystery Sketch 2011, Bong Chian Dong Ghost. This story is based on true eyewitness accounts. It was around 11:20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night study session at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyway, feeling scared, I kept looking down at the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eye, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who there was. I saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Where is my baby? You know, people say. If you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my God! I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gave me chills thinking that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Uh, over there. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to, and I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, I heard her screaming from far away. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bongcheong Dong Seo, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as a surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times.